I love this quote from Michael Jordan. And I'll tell you, one of the things I've watched, um, I do some runs. We have a treadmill and uh, uh, I do runs and I do a long run once a week and I watch The Last Dance and I've watched it probably like five times over. I watch it. It's just a motivating thing with me while I run, just easier to do. And I love this quote um, from Michael Jordan. He says, I always set short-term goals. As I look back, each one of the steps or successes led to the next one. And really just kind of seeing like, how do those successes, how do those things, you know, kind of, kind of connect. And so really thinking kind of the habits, systems and goals and things like that, what does that actually look like? So I, I kind of broke this down on, on what does this look like? So I have these daily habits that I do. I have some weekly goals. I have some medium goals and then I have my long-term goals and the habits really lead into the goals. So for example, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the habits have to do a lot with my eating. The routines, things like that have been really helpful. But also step goals are really important. And like, for example, I set a, a, a number for how many steps I'm going to get every day during that week before I finish exercising. And that's a habit that I have every single day. When I eat, how I eat, when I eat, that's a habit I have every single day. And those habits lead into the goals. Uh, one of the things that I've done and I saw as a good practice is actually um, weighing yourself every day. And I read that somewhere and again, worked for me, might not work for you, but that was really helpful for me just to kind of see how I was doing. Now, I, I told you earlier that I don't actually, um, the one day I, I eat poorly is on Friday and I have something that is like Saturday, I do not weigh myself because I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to take that away from me. I, I, I like having that one good meal and, and, you know, growing up in a restaurant, food is a big part of our lives and I enjoy it. And so, but here's the other part of this too. One of the habits that was really helpful for me, I don't eat anything I dislike. I actually enjoy every meal that I have and kind of finding foods that worked within my goals and worked within what I was doing was really important. Uh, I'm not eating like just tons of broccoli every single day, but I do have vegetables every day and I have chicken and I have things like that. So those daily habits have been really helpful. The The second thing is like now, what do the habits lead to? Where is the accountability to what these habits are leading to? So my short-term goals, and these are weekly goals, is I try to actually um, lose two to three pounds a week. And that goal for when you're in weight loss is typically seen as, as a reasonable goal. If you're trying to lose like five to 10 pounds, it's probably going to be water weight. Like I said, not a doctor, but that is not sustainable uh, for long periods of time. And again, it depends where you are in your journey. Uh, but two pounds is like um, kind of a probably the safer way. Um, could be one pound, could be two pounds, three pounds is kind of a max. And just kind of what I would do is that I would set out those goals and I wouldn't weigh myself. I, I mentioned I, I weigh myself daily, but I don't weigh myself multiple times daily. It's just when I wake up, see, you know what I weigh. And, you know, maybe kind of give me an indicator of like how maybe something I ate affected me, things like that. But I would once a week on Monday, write down what my weight was. And I would write it down, uh, you know, and I would kind of see those two to three goals. And so that's a good way for me to kind of actually go into those like short term goals. Like what, what am I trying to do? And seeing, you know, as those goals stack, how do they get to the big goals? And instead of just thinking about like having a short term and then a big goal, I kind of also did like a medium goal. So um, I would use this scale and the scale is connected to your phone. Like everything, you can get a fridge to connect to your phone, uh, but the scale could connect to your phone and I could track my weight. But instead of actually tracking my weight every day on that scale, kind of going through the ups and downs, I had that chart for the, you know, once a week weigh in. But then um, every, the first of each month, I would actually see, uh, I would measure how much I've weighed. And so since August, I've basically lost between 8 to 10 to 12 max uh, pounds per month. And so sometimes when you're getting frustrated, that's a good thing for me to look at, kind of seeing like, hey, you, you know, maybe you haven't had as good a week as you wanted, but you can kind of take a look at like, hey, you've, you've, you've had, you know, big chunks through that process. And so that short term goal helps to get to that medium goal, which then leads to the big goal, which, you know, I hit this week. 
And kind of what I did, and I think uh, Vernon Wright, you know, I've caught contact. He's big on vision boards. A lot of people, I, I wrote that goal down and I, I put it as like, when I say this, it's, it's not my big goal. It's not the end game, but it's my big goal for now. And once I hit it, I readjusted. I've now set a different big goal, but it's not as, you know, far from where I, I want to go. But having that and just seeing that each day and kind of like seeing how I'm getting closer and closer and closer. So just to kind of recap, having those habits and going through that process, but then having the small, medium, and long-term goals and like the measures, like how do I see that I'm making progress? Because I think when I was doing this before and I was like working out, I didn't have any measure. I maybe some ha had some good habits, but I had no measure. But once I said, okay, do these habits work and what are the measures to show you? Um, that was really helpful to me. And like I said, not just with weight loss, it can be in other facets of your life. And honestly, I've applied these, these things um, to other aspects of my life. For example, I blog once a week. Well, those once a week blogs have led to a couple of books. And so those times, and you know, I'm, I'm currently working on my third book and, and, you know, the habit of writing has kind of led me to, to doing this. And then, you know, when I get to that book part, then I set goals of what I want to try to write in a day. And so those, those things have really connected.